absolutely freezing out in this son of a bitch. It looks like I got snowed on. This is not fun. Holy crap. Hey everybody, this is Brandon Bishop, the executive producer for Asai TV, which has put me on a never-ending road, living the van life, heading to every corner of the nation filming awesome television. On this show, you'll see what it takes to run an independent streaming television network. You'll join me for life at home and on the road, and hopefully plan your own adventures. I'm Brandon Bishop, and this is is the Asai TV life. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it goes. Lovely. I had beautiful weather this whole trip. These last few days are just going to be cold, snowy, and bleh. Three minutes away from the Witty Whimsy Cafe. Oh, yeah. I'll put my seatbelt on in a second. I'm looking at things. Hang on. Yeah, for some reason, st people just started building giant, and I'm going to figure this out, giant objects and putting them in Casey. Illinois, Casey, Illinois. For some reason, I don't know what the reason is, but the, there's stuff like everywhere, and it's very large. I drove by some of it last night. But more importantly, where is the coffee house? Oh, that night is it open? Witty, whimsical. All right. Oh, it's the uh, Whitling whimsy. Okay. I thought it was the witty whimsy. I'm actually kind of hungry. I didn't eat last night much. There's a giant rocking chair for some reason. Does it rock? <laughs> this is good coffee and it will melt all the snow, right? It's still snowing. Boo. The big old W's. Would you look at that? Actually, looks pretty dang good. Mm-hmm. It is really good. I don't know if I was just hungry or not, but that was fantastic. I mean, that was really, really good. I want another one, but I'm not gonna. I have to get out into the snow. So I had a conversation with a 95-year-old man out there in there at the Whitling, what the hell is it called? Whitling Whimsy Cafe. And uh, it was very enlightening. I mean, the guy's 95. He was a, we, we both served in Korea. <coughs> um, and just had a nice, honestly long conversation um, about so many things. And just, you know, when you're 95, life moves at a little bit slower pace and you just kind of, you're just there, you know, hey, I could die now, I could die tomorrow. And I've always kind of had that uh, mentality. Anyway, he was just really cool, man. Really freaking cool. He was interested in what I did and talked about his life and I'm just blown away. I'm just that oh man it's slushy here I almost fell on my ass um that's that's the best part about what i do it's just meeting that guy that guy was <laughs> awesome oh man what is that what is that it's very good coffee too man i wish i had that cafe down the street from my house i'd be there every morning okay so there's the world's largest seesaw Shit, it's cold. World's largest seesaw in the world. The whole world right there. There's no seesaw larger than that one. Do not jump on the teeter-totter. 
Oh, it's a teeter totter, not seesaw. What's the difference, though? Oh, the Lord, blah blah blah. Oh yeah, this is really slick. I can't, I can't even. Uh... <laughs> All right then, there it is. Let's go look at a rocking chair. <laughs> really a bummer, honestly, because I, I want to just walk around in a sunny day. Give me sixty degrees, seventy, whatever. And it's freezing, it's like 29 degrees right now. And I just wanted to walk around this town for a couple hours and see all the fun stuff. So the snow is ruining it. There's the world's largest wind chimes, yay. It's very, very big. It appears to rock as well. Lots of biblical verses on everything, but that's, you know, if you make a giant rocking chair, then I guess you can do whatever you wanna do with it. It's very, very interesting. A lot of time and money went into this, I imagine. Alrighty, we did it. Let's go look at this pig. Oh, here we go. Big things in a small town, Casey, Illinois. World's largest golf tee, knitting needle, pitchfork, wooden shoes. We saw the chimes, we saw the chair. World's largest, oh fuck, <laughs> dumb ass falling on his ass. Okay. Looks like there's some kind of a history thing here. It's an oil town, of course. And here's a pig next to the butcher shop. Of course there's a pig next to the butcher shop, which appears to be a little uh, grocery store, maybe restaurant, don't know. Here's a pig. It's a large piggy bank. I'm guessing people put trash in there all the time and ruin everything. <laughs> oh yeah, like literally you just walk a few, like half a block and then there's a, the world's largest ruler. I think that's what that is. It could be all kinds of stuff. Yes, warm winter wishes. I would love that. I love being up this early because there's just nobody anywhere. And here's a Casey Food Pantry. A lot of places they take like arenas and stuff will take a POW seat and just put it there in honor of, which is cool, I guess. It's a very patriotic town, as you can see. They got the, not exactly what the Iwo Jima people look like, but it's fine. My Uncle Roy actually took a picture of that, which I would kill to have. Uncle Roy, he's long gone. I'm sure the picture is too, but... He was there, like right off to the side taking pictures. I don't think he took the picture. The bicycle. I imagine these are the uh, world's largest knitting needles. I'm glad I saw that. I would say drumsticks. But, you know, they're knitting needles. More Jesus stuff on there. Okay. And in this intersection, I see the world's largest barber shop pole and uh, something else over there pencil I'm, I'm doing this basically for you at this point I, <laughs> I mean yes this stuff is interesting I've seen this stuff online I've seen other people doing their shows and on nice sunny days who is another coffee company the Casey coffee company Ooh, yeah there's a little plug for you I'm sure it's wonderful but I'm good and then we got this, number two, KC, Illinois. It's a barbershop pole. And it's outside of a barbershop. It damn well better be. I'll tell you that much right now. If it wasn't, I'd be like, what's the point? So you have your average size barbershop pole right here. And then you got your mega barbershop thing. Whatever they call it. <laughs> Used to say something there. Yeah, look at that. It's a giant barbershop pole. And I almost fell on my ass again. It's going to happen. Then over here, we have our giant snow-covered number two pencil. I like how they had to put a safety thing on here. So dumbasses would not run into it and get impaled in the crotch, which is about right at crotch level. 
giant number two pencil with poems on it. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Casey, Illinois, you're ridiculous. All right, look at this. The world's largest ruler of sorts. I guess you can't call it a foot-long ruler if it's many, many, many feet long. Why is there a rope on it? People offing themselves over here. It's weird. Big things in small towns. More stuff written all over it. Kind of ruins it for me, to be honest with you. Look at that. It's a big ruler. What do you know? So dudes who can measure your junk and feel really inadequate. I'm freezing my hand for you. You! The ones watching this, all 30 of you. I'm freezing my hands. And for me, when I watch this later, which is the whole reason I do this little travel vlog. So I can save these moments. Save them forever on the U.S.T. of Tubish. But my hand's freezing, so I'm going to go ahead and get back in the van and do this the lazy way. Just drive around, pull out, and be lazy with it, because I'm cold. Very, very, very cold. I think there's stuff down here. I really have no idea if there is or not. What is that? This is kind of where I slept last night, Fairview Park. There's a giant bookworm. Look at it. Don't make me roll the window down. I said, look at it. Giant bookworm. The world's largest bookworm. Everything in Casey is the world's largest. So I'm, I'm looking. There's like a mouse trap, a golf tee. Uh, all kinds of crap. I mean, there's a lot. <clears throat> they have two categories. World's largest and then big things. Wooden shoes. Where? <laughs> I thought everything was on the main strip here. There's the uh, wind chimes and the rocking chairs over there again, which is all very close to the restaurant I just ate at. Where's all the stuff? So across from City Hall... It's the world's largest mailbox. Far out. Right next to an ice cream shop. How do you get to the, cause I know you can climb up in there, obviously. I wanna be inside the world's largest mailbox. You yourselves are better Corinthians, blah, blah, blah. Sweet, this is cool. Who gets their mail here? And does the mailman like have to climb all these stairs to do it? Is this really the post office? Cause that would be badass. I'd feel bad for the mailman though. Like God, I hate this stop. Look at this. Cool. <laughs> this is so neat. <laughs> oh, you drop mail in slot. It is a mailbox. It's an active freaking mailbox. Of course it is. Well, here we are. Hi, Casey, Illinois. Maybe I can see, there's a bird cage right there. I guess that's a uh, photo op. Before they were called selfies, they called them photo ops. There's the rocking chair down there. Police station. There's a sexy van right there. Oh my God, look at that thing. Even covered in snow, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, here we are. World's largest mailbox that actually operates and opens and closes, and it's an actual mailbox. Unbelievable. All right, stuff like this makes me forget the cold because I'm in the world's largest mailbox. Come on, come on. Got this whole city to myself basically right now, and I love that. Starting to get a little bustling out there for the small town of Casey. This is cool, come on, that's freaking cool. You know it's cool. You know you want to come here and see this for yourself. Come to KC, spend some tourist dollars. Even says US mail on the bottom of it. This is really a 
epic structure, to be honest. How, I mean, I know how they did it, but it's still, it's a very impressive structure, very impressive mailbox. So right across the street from the Tetzel Prime Primo Pretzel place. Okay. It's a little parking lot here of which you will find the world's largest golf club and mouse trap. That's pretty cool. Golf club, mouse trap, golf club, mouse trap. Okay, I gotta do it. This one's for you, carpet bagger. Oh, this is legit. Ugh. It's very legit. People laugh at you when they drive by. That's all right. Ugh. It's a hell of a mousetrap. That's very interesting looking, the Casey National Bank. Reflections of the Past Mini Mall. Okay, very mini mall. Uh, what time do you open? On a Saturday. Looks like it says 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., one of those two. That's not too far away. So this is neat. There's a antique stores and little gaming places and hardware stores. And this is like the old Debra's Attic. Addict, attic. <laughs> Look at this. Free stuff. Anybody want a free uh, melon? 10 to 4, Tuesday through Saturday. It's cool. This little pretzel snack shop has a truck coming out of it. Oh, cool. We are on the hunt for wooden shoes. Oh, there's, there's a minion over there. I saw a minion. This town has got some layers to it. Pretty uh, happy with it. I, I really honestly wish I would have uh, had this whole day to spend here, which I kind of do if I really want to. Uh, wooden shoes. Hello, wooden shoes. There's a Trump mannequin hugging an American flag pole. Casey, you're losing me, people. Uh... <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. What the hell? Little train mock-up train thing right here. This is very cute. There's the minion. I know you're all waiting. Where's the minion? I want to see the minion. Brandon, show us the minion. Okay, it's right there. Calm down. That's really, there's a minion. <laughs> Here's uh, some other stuff. Oh, okay, this is behind the giant mailbox. I still don't see no wooden shoes. Dang it. Did they hide the wooden shoes? What's a guy got to do to see some wooden shoes in a golf tee? It is a scavenger hunt. That, I think that's how they did it. I think they did it on purpose. Some things are not that easy to find. And it could be right in front of me. Again, like a golf tee is like a thin thing, you know? Look at that door up there. That's a bad door to accidentally go out of. It's like, honey, honey, I'll be right back. And like, ah, done. Okay, why isn't the golf tee next to the golf club? I didn't even see anything that said there's a giant golf club right here. I mean, that's a driver. There's no golf tee. That's some twisted nails. That's cool looking. Not really worth getting out of the van for, but it's, uh, yeah. Cool twisted nails. Right next to the burger shack, which is right there. Okay. So yeah, here's some twisted nails, uh, people. Enjoy. I really don't, I don't know where I'm going. This is the route I came in last night. I don't, where are the shoes? And the tea. I bet the locals that live here, and there are plenty of them, I bet you they 
hate it when people come up to them and they're like, where's the big wooden shoes? <laughs> I would. I'd be like, they're over 17 miles that way. Take a ride on Booger Street and you'll see them and just lead them way out of the city. I'm about to be that guy, though, because I'm just like, there should be a map or something. In Casey, there's a Casey's. Maybe they've got information for me. Oh, these people are definitely, definitely sick of being asked where everything is at. Would you look at this? This makes me happy. Look at that. That's exactly what I was looking for. We have a treasure map. This is awesome. If you need a map, go to Casey's General Store. I guarantee you they have these because of people like me coming in going, hey, uh, where's the big wooden shoes? Where are those damn wooden shoes? Hey, we can we can uh, check these off as we go along. I have an ink pen right here. Okay, what have I seen? Okay, I've seen... World's largest golf club, check. Swizzle spoon, is that like that honey thing? Oh my God, I haven't seen half of this, not even a close to, world's largest mailbox, seen it. Barber's pole, seen it. There's a key, knitting needles, and crochet hook. I've seen the need, knit needles, I don't, I don't remember a crochet, oh yes I do, yes I do. Okay, saw that, rocking chair, saw it, wind chimes, saw it. Teeter totter, saw it. I saw the pig, I saw the yard stick, which is longer than a yard. Uh, where's the pig? Where's the freaking pig? Oh, the bird cage, we saw that. It was a taco, saw the minion. Um, pig's not even on here, pig got completely. Oh, the mouse trap, we saw that. Pencil. Not the world's largest pencil, apparently. Bookworm, we saw the bookworm. They don't have the pig out in front of the butcher shop. Unless it's the world's largest piggy bank, which I don't think it is. There's a Pokemon ball around here somewhere. A softball bat, a spinning top, an anvil, a horseshoe. Oh, the big W's, I saw those inside uh, the coffee shop, cool. Some of these things, like I know the rocking horse is inside. The world's largest ear of corn, toy airplane, pizza slicer, puzzle, antlers, wooden token, world's largest gavel, wooden shoes, world's largest key, and pitchfork and golf tee. I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm doing pretty damn good. I've gotten a lot of these checked off already. And I guess this is where, uh, where are we? I just hit pay dirt. Two things I didn't even know. I was looking at the map for something else, and I just, off to the corner of my eye, go, hey, there's something. Let's go look at something. It's the world's largest Chevrolet key. Look, it's an actual key with the proper coating grooves and everything. I hope they don't lose this key. At least it could be out in front of like a Chevy dealership or something. Maybe that was at one time. Look at that, it's a big key. Look at it. But even more impressive and more dear to my heart than a giant key is, and this does belong out here because it's out in front of a Mexican restaurant, a giant taco! Yeah! <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, it's so huge and it's just, it's got metal. Look at that, it's got metal peppers and tomatoes and all kinds of jalapenos this is fantastic oh I, if, if i'm buying a house i'm making one of these i will have somebody make one for me or something because this is the best thing i've ever seen in my life giant taco out in front of a mexican restaurant called cilantros established last year so i don't know did the restaurant come first or did the tacos come first they got live music country music 
Smells like a Mexican restaurant when they're closed. There's a taco! There's a taco! I want a taco this big, and I'm actually, for some reason, a little hungry again. I might spend an hour just filming this one thing. Forget the wooden shoes, forget the golf tee and the pitchfork. This taco is the whole reason I came here. Thank you, cilantros. Or I don't, like I said, I don't know if the taco came first or the restaurant. It's only a year old. But hell yeah with this. This is the best. The snow looks like sour cream or crema. I just want to take a thousand selfies with this. Like I said, I, I, the other stuff's neat. This is next level awesome. I'm standing in mud right now to get shots of this taco. <laughs> okay, if I'm still here for uh, lunch, which I probably will be looking for these wooden shoes, I'll come back and eat that taco. Okay, so that's... Uh... Apparently that is the world's largest puzzle. I thought it was just twisted nails. So they're calling that a puzzle, I guess. Okay, cool, off the list. All right, we are at the home of the world's largest twizzle spoon. I guess that's good to stir tea with. I wasn't sure what a twizzle spoon was, but there it is. There's John 738, whatever that is, on a twizzle spoon. Look, even if you didn't realize, you are here at the world's largest twizzle spoon. Swizzle. Swizzle or twizzle? It's different. Swizzle spoon and twizzle spoon. Are they different? What I'm learning from this map is that several of these attractions are indoors, of which I have no access to. And other ones are like a mile and a half away. Which is fine. Not too far, but damn, dude. I mean, they're scattered everywhere. I'm back at the Minion. Show me some wooden shoes. Are they just like out in a field somewhere? Because I'm not seeing them. Are they covered in snow? Do I have to go off-roading to see some wooden shoes? <clears throat> Okay, I'm right by the Minion. <laughs> this is so dumb. Uh, minion, where's the Minion? Number, letter P is the Minion. It's supposed to be right across the street from the Minion. Where? Wooden shoes inside. Oh, it says they're open, nine to five, cool. Let's go look at some wooden shoes. Make sure you keep off your, your their boulders. Okay, it is a Saturday. It's 9.15. Oh, wait a minute. I'm a complete idiot. I did not change the clock in my van. 8.15 right now, not 9.15. Can I just peek in and see the damn wooden shoes? It's like a mission at this point. I don't see anything. I don't see no damn wooden shoes. Oh, that sucks. I guess I'll go on the outskirts of town and try to see the other stuff that I can see that's outside. I think it's outside. I'm sure a giant golf tee, the world's largest golf tee is outside. What, what, where would they put it? Oh, the world's largest antlers. Right in front of a tractor shop. That makes sense. That checks out. Look at that. All right, off the list. I imagine what you're supposed to do is take a picture as though the antlers are yours. I don't know if I can do that. I'm not that talented. Yay. <laughs> it's not working, is it? Antlers, here we go. Casey, Illinois, America. Okay, there's supposed to be a giant wooden token and a giant pizza slicer. This is kind of like one of those things, like remember in Highlights Magazine, when you had to find all the objects, but this is like a real thing like that 
for a whole city. I see a pizza hut. Would it make sense that they would both, that a pizza slicer would be out in front of, I mean, it would make sense, right? All right, we'll get out for this one. It's a giant wooden thing. Oh, look, it's got all the, it's got the twizzle spoon, the gavel, the teeter-totter, or the seesaw, whatever you call it, the chimes. There's a stupid golf club I can't find, the chair, the wooden shoes I have to wait for, the pitchfork, mailbox, key, golf club. That is kind of badass. That's kind of everything wrapped up into one. And it's in front of the Casey State Bank. Of course it is. And it's a big wood-ass coin. Wow, that's actually neat. And Casey, 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 Casey. So apparently the world's largest pizza slicer, actually it's just a pizza slicer. I don't think it's the world's largest one. So somewhere out there, there's a larger pizza slicer than the one I'm looking for here. Okay, it's supposed to be right over here somewhere. Okay, here it is. Well, that says world's largest wind chimes. We already saw that. Where's the freaking uh, pizza cutter, people? Seriously. Making me look way too hard for a pizza cutter. Okay, there's a pizza place here. It's a local pizza place, so cool. Oh, there it is. It's not very big. That's why I must have drove right by it. So the wooden shoes are kind of a mission now. I have to wait at least another hour. Eh, 45 minutes, whatever. But the pizza slicer is off the checklist. Yes. Also, everything's covered in snow, so it's a extra level of difficulty that I'm dealing with. Pizza slicer in front of a pizza shop. The great house of pizza. There it is. We did it. All right. So the rocking horse is inside. Ear of corn, I think, is inside. Toy, toy airplane is like way far away. Actually, no, it's not. It's not close, but it's a little far away. And that's inside. Pokemon ball, I have no idea. Okay, around here somewhere is something. <laughs> I forgot what it was. Oh, the pitchfork, it's over here. Oh, here's Richard's farm. I've heard about this place. That's cool. I imagine the pitchfork would be at the farm. Ah, I see it. When is this place open? This looks awesome. There it is. The world's largest pitchfork, people. I can't really put into words how big this pitchfork is. It's freaking enormous. It's just... It's the pitchfork that never ends. I got a little globe right there, steel globe. Yeah, it's a legit pitchfork, man. Look at this. That's how you know it's a good pitchfork. Just give it up. Yeah, it's a good pitchfork. All right, Richard's farm, and it's open when? I can't see it from here. 11 o'clock. Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to whenever. So I will not be there, but nice to meet you, Richard. When I was talking to that awesome 95-year-old gentleman at the at the coffee shop, uh, he did tell me that there's a father and some sons, a son maybe. And you can look up the story of Casey, Illinois yourself. I'm not going to give you false information, but what, from what he told me was that uh, they saw like a giant something somewhere else. And they just said, well, we could do that in Casey, where we live. And then they did it. Those are the kind of people I love. People that just, uh, oh, there's a golf course here. So, of course, the world's largest golf tee will be here. But I like people that just say, you know what, I'm going to do it. And they do it. That makes me very happy. And I uh, adore and respect people that do that. Quaint little, uh, oh, and there it is. What is this little observation deck here? Current clubs champion. I think this is where you go observe the world's largest golf tee. 
or maybe watch your friends golf, who knows? But look at that, it's a very thick golf tee. There we go. Fancy golf club must have heated sidewalks. I'm in on that. Here we are. We did it. World's largest golf tee. All right, now I'm cold. Getting there. Okay, I don't remember which one I'm looking for first. An anvil, let's find this anvil, which I'm hoping is outside of a, oh, there it is, just in a park. Look, there's a big anvil. Nice, Lynn Park anvil, it's the Lynn Park anvil. Get a little shot of that, there we go, it's a big anvil. Hooray. You might ask yourself, do you feel a little stupid for driving 10 miles, 10 minutes or whatever it was, just to see that big old anvil there? Yeah, absolutely I do. Um, but so worth it, it's off the list now. Now we gotta find the uh, horseshoe, which is also in Martinsville. Martinsville AG Fair, home of the world's largest horseshoe. <laughs> Not getting out of the van for this, but there it is. Told you, we're doing this thing, man. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna see the gavel, which is uh, 25 minutes away, unless it's on the way to Herman. I, I don't know if I'll be doing that. Yeah, yeah. All right, back in Casey, Illinois. And I'm speeding, sorry, Casey, Illinois. We've got stuff to find, man. It's open, the wooden shoe should be open. That should be our first stop, shouldn't it? Here's the knitting needles again. It's supposed to be a crochet hook. I don't know what a crochet hook looks like, but they're supposed to both be right here. All right, whatever, good enough. Oh, that's a crochet hook, it's inside. Got it, all together now, <laughs> perfect. Three cars just passed me, so you know it's getting busy. There must be a Pokemon ball around here somewhere, but you know, if I find it, I find it. I'm pretty sure it's inside one of these stores. That's what that is, a Pokemon ball. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I think I know what that is. I'm showing my age now. <laughs> oh, you can get in the Pokemon ball yes, you can. and hang out with uh, Pikachu, right? Yeah. Awesome. Ear of yeah. corn. Where's the ear of corn? It is being refurbished. A refurbished corn. Yep. So there's no corn. There's no corn out right now, and there's no spinning top either. Oh, cool. There's two off my list. <laughs> and then there's the uh, softball bat. Yes, that is at the Fairview Park. Fairview Park. Oh, that's right, next to the Hall of Fame thing. Yep. Cool. And you have to go in there. That's really cool. Well, I guess we will then. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You didn't know you'd be filming a movie, did you? <laughs> and the Rocking Horse. That is in a store that's closed, so you won't be able to see that one either. When is it open? Are they closed forever? Um, they're, they got bought. So I figured out that the KC Municipal Airport, hey, there's the taco. You see it? Yeah, all right. It's only four minutes away, therefore, we will be seeing it. People looking at me like I'm crazy talking to my phone. I am crazy talking to my phone. Oh, here we go, here's a souvenir shop, cool. <laughs> It's so warm in here. Oh, cool. So you got some merchy stuff. This is a cool shop. Yes. I'm a sucker for tourist traps and noisy birds. What are you guys doing? Hi, guys. What are you doing? You want to bite me? You totally want to bite me, don't you? Look at you. Don't bite me. What are you doing? Are you going to bite me too? Hey, guys. You like that Christmas music all day, huh? Is it driving you crazy? You can't even leave. Hey, don't bite him. Don't bite him. Unless that's a love bite. Is that a love bite? You want to give me a love bite? Can I just film your birds for like hours? We don't get to see the... Hey, how much are those collector's coins? Ear of corn or the rocking horse? Or... I saw that. $5.99. Spinning top. 
Okay. Okay. Bye. I was just running across the street. I'm wearing sweats with heavy things in the pockets. Needless to say, my, I'll just say it, my penis came out for a split second. Just did a quick little flop. It was like, flop, flop. And then, oops, my shorts literally came down to my freaking thighs. My sweats did. Okay, now this is supposed to be open. I see a sign in the window that says they are open. The Wildflower Bakery and Candy Shop. And then we're gonna go check out the Softball Museum, then the airport. They're making this work for these last ones. You can't just drive up and go, hey, there it is. I wanna go in the kids' entrance. It's a cool door. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and what do you know? There they are, our holy grail. I'm gonna put them on. Pretty cool. Money thrown in the wooden shoes for good luck will be donated to the Casey Food Pantry. Cool. Please do not get in the shoes. Well, that just ruined my day. Definitely wooden shoes for a large wooden person. Mm -hmm. Swamp? Oh, you're kidding me. That's hilarious. It's called Swamp Juice. There's a funny story behind Swamp Juice. In my pro wrestling days, my buddy Tyler and I would always call, like, after a match when you're sweaty and stinky and you got the swamp juice. Oh, it's so swampy. Oh, so juicy. And there's actually a soda called swamp juice. So I'm gonna, I haven't seen them in a couple of years, but I'm gonna grab them one, make sure I see them or just keep it on my shelf or whatever, because that's, and it's green. It's like a murky green is awful, but that's great. That is like a, that's funny as hell to me. <laughs> it's funny anyway, but our story behind it is absolutely hilarious. Swamp juice, it's me and Tyler's thing. Tyler Hill, where are you, buddy? What is, what do you, no, what are you doing? These are all my favorite words. Caramel, cookie, <laughs> apples, nutty monkeys, one of my favorite words. Cocoa, frosty, macadamia. It's not one of my favorite ones. It might be though. Which one should I get? They're all really good. Oh, you should get the, that's me talking like Santa. <laughs> it's pretty good, wasn't it? Okay, world's largest wooden shoes. Got it, finally. Can't believe they hid stuff indoors. That's so sad. <laughs> Large wooden toy airplane inside, inside. You better be open. I see no cars. Big things in a small town. There's a little pilot up there. Big things in a small town.com. This is cool. Just sitting in a little office building, unattended. I, mean, I could take this down and put it in a van right now. And then I will own the world's largest toy airplane. I'm willing to bet there's a bigger one somewhere, but apparently uh, the Guinness Book of Records has not seen that one yet. happy about that large wooden it doesn't say world's largest i imagine there's like what's the fine line between an actual plane and a toy an actual plane could be somebody's toy mm, what do we got here a little museum it's a very small museum casey softball hall of fame now is this just for illinois and casey or is this an actual hall of fame for like the entire Oh, it says USA Softball. Oh, there's the bat. All right, softball bat gone. Where's the airplane? There's the toy airplane gone. We have gotten everything that we can get except for the gavel. And I think the gavel is either, uh, we'll see how far it is. If it's on the way, we'll stop. If it's not, I think uh, I'll be happy with the success rate that we've done here. <laughs> 
See, it makes sense. There's baseball fields right there. There's a baseball field, and then there's the museum, and that's where you put the biggest bat. See, Casey knows what it's doing. And right here, I love how they got this set up. This is so cool. You got the umpire and the catcher in the back, and you can pretend like you're just sitting there holding the bat. <laughs> this is awesome. This is really cool. Now I have to do that, apparently. All right, let's go see what's in the USA Softball of Illinois Museum. They have a museum literally for everything. Softball, the Fountain of Youth. Okay. All right. Some terrible music being played, but it's whatever. I guess all of these were amazing softball players. Like, what is this? A remake of Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley? Dude, write your own songs, man. Can I turn that off? How do you turn it off? It's terrible. Yay. Sorry. <laughs> Can't listen to that shit. <laughs> I don't think I've ever played softball or even held a softball. I mean, softballs are just a little bit bigger than baseballs, right? You throw them underhanded. This is fun. Never know where you end up, right? Mm. This is pretty impressive. I didn't know softball had this kind of a lineage. I mean, this is only for Illinois, too, so. Who knew? This is a cool place. If you're into softball, <laughs> this is the Mecca. I bet you there's people that are like crazy in the softball that have always wanted to come here. One of these days, they're going to get to Casey, Illinois and go to the Softball Hall of Fame. Someday they're going to. She lost her bat. Yay, softball. Can't write with this hand. Some cool pictures here of what it looks like when it's not covered in snow. Pitchfork and the mailbox, shoes and the, I guess these were not always hanging on the wall. That's really cool the way I had it there, but I guess things changed. There's the pencil as it was being made. Hmm. And then there's that guy, I guess he's, uh, I'll just call him Casey. <laughs> said you can't fault it get some fountain of youth water really cold all right I feel younger already you can't fault the place because it, I don't care about softball but like I said there's people out there that are just like that's the greatest place on earth so Herman Missouri is actually three and a half hours in the opposite way that the world's largest gavel is. I don't care about the gavel. It's not in Casey. So why should it be on the Casey list? Eh. So no gavel for me. I don't want to add an hour to this trip. I got three and a half as it is. I'll be there about two o'clock, which is cool. Got plenty of time to roam around Herman and uh, get a taste for the place before we actually film there tomorrow with Bree. And just a small town girl. Love that name. Love that show. Love Bree. She's awesome. Can't wait to see her again. Anyway, so three and a half hours of driving. Probably get some gas. And what time is it? Half an hour until that Mexican restaurant opens. I don't I don't want to wait that long. Bye, Casey. Bye, large antlers. Bye, large pizza cutter. This was fun. Come on, come on, come on. That's a bad day. Anything good in that truck? Oh, man. Oof. Anybody want any effing ham? Let me know. So I'll come here and get you some effing ham. 
What's going on with all these trucks like coming off the road and jackknifing, man? I mean, that's like the third one that I've seen. That's crazy. Stop that. I know it snowed, but it wasn't like crazy snow by any means. I was wondering why GPS sent me on this little side service road here, but uh, yeah, I'm so glad that it did because I'd be stuck, not here, but way back there. This must be the 40 minutes of bypass that it showed me how to get to. So thank you, GPS. I'm sorry I said bad things about you earlier. You kept me out of this nightmare. Yeah, that traffic jam is crazy. It's still going, I can see it to the trees. <clears throat> Just a great wall of China length. <laughs> Semis and poor little cars stuck between them. Pulled over to address a squeaking sound in the back, which was driving me crazy. And I figured I'd try some swamp juice. It's so swampy and juicy. Oh my God, swampy, swampy. It's, uh, what does it say? It's so disgusting. Totally gross sodas. Not disgusting at all. It looks gross. It's like brown liquidy, but it's really good. Mm. I just want the bottle. I'm not going to drink it. Oh, it's really good. Oh, crap. <laughs>